my greenhouse. Tomatoes are going all right. I've got one ripening down here. Um, these were all from seeds that and plants that I've been given, so I don't actually know whether they're going to be yellow tomatoes or heirloom or... I think these ones are regular because these are gardener's delights. Hmm. So I've been doing some cuttings. Don't know, you know, we just got to cross our fingers. Oh look, I need to cut that leaf in half. And um, those ones, I've forgotten to do that because I don't want the plants to be struggling to supply nourishment to the leaves when um, there's nothing. Oh, I'm looking for my secateurs and trying to talk at the same time. When there's no roots. So let's just chop them off. It stops them losing moisture as well, so I understand. Um, right, so I've got hydrangeas here. I've got a variety of roses here. Um, I know I said I was going to show you how I did it, but I forgot. I use Monty Don from The Gardener's World. I use the way he does it. So I will link the, um, I'll link the video below. Now I'm taking in my dried spearmint, which is dried and nasty brown, but smells amazing. And I'm gonna crumble this up and put it in a pot and that will be my spearmint tea, which I drink for my manky skin because I get cystic spots and this really, really unbelievably helps. Would have been so much more attractive if, it, if I dried it better. Doesn't matter though. I'm hiding up here because Wilfred is on the computer playing with my godson and they're shouting so loudly. Um, he goes on. He, it's it's difficult with computers because I really dislike the amount of time that children these days spend on them. I don't think it's good. But at the same time, I realise that that's just part of life these days. And um, and because we're so restricted on where we can go and who we can see, um, it's time that he can spend linked up with his friends. But even so, we, we do have restrictions on um, how long he is on there. But it's a battle all the time because it's never long enough. He's never on it long enough. And I think he's on it plenty long enough. So we come to loggerheads. Anyway, so I'm up in my bedroom now. Um, I'm thinking about going and soaking some yarn because I bubbled up some carrot tops yesterday. And I am making some iron mordant modifier, but it's not going to be ready for a couple of weeks. So I thought I'm bound to get more carrot tops. I will use the modifier on that next time and this time I'll just see what happens. I think I should probably get a yellowy colour but everything seems to be going pink brown unless I go the full gung-ho with coffee, tea and turmeric. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give that a go later. I've been down to my friend neighbour's house, put their recycling boxes and bins away, um, watered the pots. Um, so that's done. Um, Margot's my ever-present companion there. I, achy oh, I'm just going to prop you down here on my knee. I'm sorry about the ankle. I look like a funny potato. Don't I? Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can hold it like that. Oh, that's wobbly. <laughs> I had um, a fair few comments on my uh, the way I held my camera with my toes the other day. I have got funny feet. I've got long, flat feet with long, skinny toes. I think I've got lovely feet. My mother hates my feet because I've got my dad's feet, and my dad's feet are really ugly. <laughs> well, I think my feet are lovely. I don't have the same um, toenail issues that he has. Sorry, oversharing. Um, 
I've got my uh, stitchery journal here that I want to show you because I finished it and I'm pretty pleased with it. So I'm going to share that here. But firstly, uh, just a quick chat because I've had some various comments saying that um, some people have been getting adverts that they really don't appreciate. And I just want to reiterate because not everybody knows this. Um, I don't I don't get to choose your adverts. I get to choose if my vlog has adverts on it. Um, and I do get to tick boxes about what kind of content I will allow. So obviously, because my children watch my vlogs and some of their friends do, I have ticked all the appropriate boxes. So um, I have requested no adult content. I've requested, I have requested um, no... Oh, how do they phrase it? Something about it, uh, something about not health and well-being, but to do with image. So in theory, there shouldn't be any Rudy adverts or any dieting adverts or anything like that. But something is going on with YouTube at the moment and AdSense and monetization. I don't know what it is, but things are not the same. So things are slipping through the net I would say and um, it's it's cookies in one's own computer and telephone that decides really what adverts you are exposed to. Now I was chatting to somebody the other day who said that they'd had um, quite an undesirable advert attached to my vlog and that they felt that I would like to know because I think they felt that it was um, under my control, which it isn't. But I have had some funny adverts pop up after um, Googling how to grow courgettes and how to grow trombone squash. Mm. So... So sometimes I think it's it's literally the um the cookies having a laugh with us. Anyway, I also have no control over the length of these adverts and I personally do not agree with any advert that lasts longer than 2 minutes. And I won't watch anything that lasts longer than 2 minutes. I just hit the refresh button. And hope to get a better advert, a better length advert. But, um, you know, you sit, I've said this before. You sit down to watch a 10, 15 minute vlog and you get a 45 minute advert. I mean, no, we, we don't have an hour to spend on our hobby in that kind of sense, do we? If we want to sit down and watch something that's, for, that's 15 minutes long, we want to watch it for 15 minutes. We don't want to watch a 45 minute thing that has nothing to do with the thing you actually want to watch. Oh, I'm going to shut up now because I'm droning on and on and on. Let's have a look at my embroidery. Here's the front page and it's printed with the stitchery. Um, and I think, I don't really know where what I'm going to do with it as such. Maybe I'll put it in the drawing room and leave it open on each page of the month but then with I don't know I don't know if that would work with my family this is my front page oh, typically the lights hmm the light is a bit funny because it started to rain right I'm off the bed I'm on the floor now so that's my front page there this will all be explained in a minute and you'll see that I really don't think it's working <laughs> this is the second page now with each month you got a um, a little tag what I think I might do is take the big ribbons off and just have this sort of pinned in as part of the 
the doodah. This says cherish, which is obviously because Valentine's Day is in February and this is the February stitchery. But um, yeah, it's yeah, so cherish. It took me a while because I'd muddled all these up to work out which word went with which month. But you know, that's my fault. So next page is um, March. So bird song, little bird there. bit of vintage fabrics there everything's showing up darker than it really is this one is april um so we've got the word poise i'm not sure that that is the word that was supposed to go along with april um yeah i'm not sure where i would have put poise but it works here well enough I did a little I'm struggling with focus. There we go. Little tiny stitchy doodah. One of those I did there, but it's not looking so good. And this is my favourite page. This is the month of May. And the month of May is one of my favourite months because it's my birthday. <laughs> and this all just went really nicely together. Focus. Yeah, I like how this one turned out. And um, it's quite good having these little scrappy bits because it means that you can stitch on your um, your month and then you can hide in the most part where you'd stitched it down. Look at that. I love that. I love French knots. So, you know, it kind of disguises it. I mean, I didn't quite disguise that very well there. This one's cute. Oh, hang on. I've forgotten to put back this sundress, that one says. Yeah, this one's quite cute. Kind of got a bit of a fresh seasidey feel. So, sunshine for this one. And then, bon voyage. For July, because people go on holiday in July, I don't know. That's my thoughts behind that. Oh, I, I need to iron, that's friction pen, I need to iron that off. And this one is bike rides in August. But look, oh, it's one of my favourite designs there. Nikki has nailed it with this design. This is the one that Frank has just finished. Lovely. And I didn't think any of these were going to be released as standalone um, designs, but you can get this one now. You are able to order this one and I urge you all to do it because it was a real pleasure to do. Um, and if you buy the, the, the kit, the design, you get i believe the youtube tu tutorial access to the youtube tu tutorial that nikki put together for these little bullion stitches and once you know how to do those bullion stitches you can do these roses um next page september oh I see perfect that's what we need we just need the month written on each tag that would work that would be brilliant we're going into the autumnal feel of things here a muted bouquet of sunflowers and then trick or treat for halloween spell this is actually um, fabric that was a curtain in my friend's beach hut and um, I made her new curtains. She gave me the old ones and I made a coat out of it, which I wore a little bit, but now my tastes have changed. So I'll have to fish out that coat and see if I can find somebody who'll love it. And this was just a bit of um, old jacquard that I dyed yonks ago with avocado the first time I dyed. Things of avocado. And look, if you learn billion stitch, you can do little bumpkins. You can 
can see where it was in the hoop and you can see where I'm grubby fingers you can see my night. My mum did quite a few of these French knots. She arrived one day and she had forgotten her Mount Melic embroidery. Oh dear, that's a mistake there. You'll see in a minute the mistake. Um, yeah, she'd forgotten her Mount Melic embroidery and she always likes to have something to do. So I said, hey, start this one for me. So she did. So we've got lichen there, or lichen as I thought it was called and I've been since corrected. I need to iron that off. That is hiding that, and that was those. Um, this is hiding something also. And then Christmas, look, there we go. That's the culprit there. That's the culprit. Um, and it's Christmas. And these are little ceramic buttons that I got that Frankie used to sell in um, the cafe when the cafe was open and this is interesting but this is something else that Nikki will talk you through doing if you buy a kit that um, requires this it's um, how to watercolour onto your fabric before stitching it so there there we go finished and there's that the stitchery so that's what I'm what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take these ribbons off and attach these cards somehow. I might I don't know, I wonder if I don't really want to do a safety pin. Do you know, I might just put a dressmaker's pin through there a bit like the way Magpie and the wardrobe puts her doll labels on her skirts. She just pins them on. I might do that. We will see. <laughs> One of her ears was tucked up. Look, look. Oh. oh. I think that'll be me done for the day. Um, I've got nothing else going on this evening cooking supper and then continuing to weave ends in on my northeasterly blanket I think. I um I woke up completely pain free with my elbow this morning because I was asleep last night by 11 o'clock and I did not wake up till 20 to 10 this morning. I was out for the count I woke up with a fully rested and perfect elbow. It's beginning to smart a bit now because, um, you know, I've been using my arm. I've been using my hand. I have to open doors and stuff. So it's getting a bit sore. Uh, but I have done... Um, I have been doing... I have been doing exercises that I found... I was guided to Fruity Knitting podcast. So I've been doing those exercises. Then... Um, another lovely viewer of this vlog alerted me to a, um, a pair of physiotherapists that had um, some exercises that they walk through. So I've been doing those as well. I, I've also got um, this funny gadget thing that I use that's to strengthen some of the muscles up. So I've been doing that. And um, I think... It's going to take a really long time for it to heal and I can't rest it in the way it needs to be rested to heal fast. And knitting or not knitting seems to make absolutely no difference. So I'm just doing everything in moderation because to not knit is just depressing. And um, not knitting doesn't seem to significantly help. And knitting doesn't seem to significantly make it any worse. So just going to knit. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all for me. Tomorrow is Friday and I am going to see my friend, um, my godchildren. It's going to be lovely to see them, see them all. I've not seen them all since February. 
which is probably the longest I've been without seeing them. So that'd be lovely. And I think that's all I have to say. I've said goodbye three times and I still haven't.